This video is going to show you how to set up the monkey bars in uh, Thinkorswim. So the first thing you do is you set up a two chart grid like this, right? Just selecting two charts. Then you select your candlesticks and I choose to select overlap volume. If you don't know how to do that, it's uh, style settings and it's right here overlap to volume. And if you click this then you will put a shortcut into the style menu so that you can alternate between overlapped and non-overlapped volume. But I'll show you why that's important in a second. But to switch to the monkey bars, all you do is you click to style, chart type, monkey bars. Now if that doesn't appear in your style drop-down menu, then go into style, settings, appearance, and then choose your chart type here and then click this little hyperlink to turn it on so that the next time you click on style it will show up as a sub menu. Once you have the style defined pick a 30 minute time frame and then go and save your style. Give it a name and say include study set. So mine is called um, ES monkey bars. Your monkey bars for 30 minutes, and that's the best one to look at, are going to look like this. You can take away the shading, you can make the numbers bigger, so you go into settings, appearance, monkey bars, and what you want to use an automatic row height. You can turn off this shading, which shows you where 70 percent of the trading took place if it bothers you. That's called a playground. Um, the open price will be indicated with a square and the close price or the last price will be indicated by this triangle and they are very helpful to keep on. So this is your monkey bars which will show you as the volume builds up how your day is progressing in terms of trending or not. Over on the other chart, what I do is I say style, monkey bars expanded, and that gives you a different look at the day. So let's go into here style and let's, um, in the settings, under appearance, let's turn off the playground so we can see a little bit better. Um, let's emphasize the first digit. And let's apply that. And then let's just look at the volume from um, the last day. It's a different look. Let me just clear this here and over here show you the last day. The monkey bars show you the trending volume profile, basically. It shows you where the point of control is and it gives you a look of the volume profile. The colors represent the times. If you don't understand the colors, um, send me a tweet at Newsag and I'll explain that in another video. But the colors are the same here. They just show you on a time frame. That's why you don't have any any volume bars on this chart because this is a volume profile. Here you have volume. So you can see that on Friday uh, when we had the jobless news announcement, the volume shot up and volume dropped, or the, um, the futures dropped. And then they continued to drop for the next half hour. In the next half hour, they moved up with increasing movement in volume. Then in the next half hour, which are fours, we went down. In the fives, the volume increased. And then we continued to move up with pretty insignificant volume until the second to last half hour. So from 3.30 to 4, we shot up and you can see this increased volume here. And then we closed the day. This might have been 3 to 3.30 and this was 3.30 to 4. That's right, this is 3 to 3.30 and this is 3.30 to 4. So those, I mean I'm trying to keep this video to a reasonable length, but it shows you how to set up the monkey bars 
both in monkey bars and monkey bars expanded, but it, the video is not meant to really show you how to read them.